Hi, this is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided I did not wish to create a journal or pockets and tags and ephemera or cards or Christmas themed anything. I just need to release some stress, to release some anxiety, to let go of all of that negativity and anxiety and just create just let myself be free so i grabbed myself a nice mug of hot chocolate that i will sip while i create um i could have also grabbed a glass of wine <laughs> but you know what it's cold outside it felt more like a hot chocolate night and it is at the evening so you know what you can grab all kinds of stuff Grab one of your uh, art journal journals or a page, a blank page or blank canvas. It doesn't matter. You can create with me or you can just sit back, relax and watch me create. It might inspire you or bring you some peace. And um, either way, it will be my pleasure. So if you want to meet me after the intro. Okay, so um, I pulled a few pieces of paper here and there and scraps and, you know, leftovers. Well, it's not really leftovers. I only punched a few things out of this. <clears throat> but trying to give me a sense of where I want to go. Um, the reason for that is if you're like me, I get easily overwhelmed by everything. I, I start pulling too many things and then it's like, ooh, that's nice. Ooh, like that. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, how about this washi tape? Oh, maybe I could add this. And then first thing I know, my desk is full of stuff and I still have no clue where I'm going. So I'm trying to limit what I pull out. I actually had way more than this and I put it all back because I was getting overwhelmed yet again. So let me have a little sip of my hot chocolate in my beautiful mug. Mm, 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 mm. My goodness, I'm close to the mic. I hope you don't hear me swallowing my hot chocolate. If you do, I apologize, but let me tell you, it is yummy. Okay, so I, I have pieces that were thorn i'm trying to see like a puzzle if i could make them fit somewhere some will fit i don't like this sharp edge so let me get rid of it right now um yeah so i myself i can only speak for myself i can feel myself right now this moment putting all kinds of pressure on myself because i'm filming and I'm not used to chit-chatting while I film. As you all know, I really love the fast-forward mode with music. But I'm also realizing that while well, you're almost... Well, you're many hundreds to have subscribed to my channel. Actually, it's not even a secret. You see it when you're on my channel. Uh, my number is there. So you're like around 850-ish. And I'm thinking... Well, most of you do appreciate the fast forward stuff. I'm thinking, why not chit chat a tiny bit? It might get you to know me better. If that's something you want, I don't know. <laughs> and then again, I can't make any promises. And the reason is I am not very at ease um, chit chatting the whole way. Um, I have many beautiful youtube creators i admire so much and they could they can chat a storm while they're creating and not lose a beat i'm i get confused and then it's like where was i what was i doing what was i saying where am i <laughs> that's pretty much exactly it i am barely exaggerating see now i'm just like i don't know what i'm doing i want i like this butterfly i want him to this if you're wondering what this is oh this is just gorgeous and beautiful like listen to this yes that's right i'll show you 
it comes in these sheets they're 12 by 12 they're wrapping paper for meals and um, um, I got them on Amazon I'll try and link them if link them if you wish um, the only thing is I take a piece of 12 by 12 I fold it around an 8 by 11 for my printer and I on the other side I tape and then I put the sheet in my printer and print on it um, you have to otherwise it will break I mean that that is way too thin to go in a printer but once you attach it very snug and nicely with a piece of tape on the back or for me it's the back because when I put my sheet in the feeder I know it's gonna no actually like this and it's gonna it's gonna go like this and print on the back side so just be careful if you ever decide to do the same anyways okay enough chit chat about the printer uh, okay you know what I'm just gonna glue stuff um, I don't know if I should ink the edge I also do a lot of white gesso and usually inking the edge does nothing and you know what I'm gonna do some contouring probably after so no inking the edge so as I was saying, and I might, <laughs> like I said, I'm not good with chit-chatting. Chit-chatting, I should rephrase that. I am very good at chit-chatting if we are face-to-face. -face. Um, I can talk all day with you if the conversation is good and I'm with a friend. But chit-chatting while doing something I've said it before, I'm not sure I have that kind of brain. We shall see. <laughs> if I feel I'm not going anywhere and I'm having anxiety, <laughs> I might have to switch back to the fast forward with music. I mean, I am talking to you now. I just can't promise I'll keep doing it the whole video was that there has that was that how I had you know I, I just got it mm, uh, hold on <laughs> do I like it well there'll be some white and there'll be or would I like it better like this I kind of like some white but you know what they'll be just so okay Chantal stop talking just boo okay so I've said the word anxiety a few times already so since I said I did want you guys to I say guys all the time I know it's an expression people are trying to get rid of um, see that's why I don't chit chat I'm like a, a squirrel or actually not even a squirrel I have no attention like my mind goes everywhere now I'm on another topic <laughs> okay focus um, what was I saying oh yes I've I've Oh yeah, first, the guy thing. I apologize. I don't mean to offend anyone. It's just an expression. Hey, you guys, you know, even if there's probably 99% women. And if there are men that are crafters, which I know they are. I just don't know if they're watching. Uh, I do want to say hi. Welcome to my channel. I'm happy you're here. Um, I welcome everyone. So anyways, uh, yeah, I've been, I've said in my last video and in this one, I'm saying the word anxiety. I know this will sound maybe a little strange, but um, I never knew that how I felt was actually called anxiety, that it actually had a name. Hi, this is voiceover. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry to appear right in the middle of my um, conversation and chit chat on the video. But there was some, I didn't realize at the time when I was filming, but there was a lot of noise upstairs in my house. And I mean, I'm used to it, so I didn't even think twice. I kept, you know, filming. But once I listened to my own recording, I realized, oh my goodness, it is so distracting. So I'm cutting out the piece where it, it's too loud and that's pretty much all you can hear so I'm trying to remember what I was trying to say I know I was talking about um, anxiety and mental health in general so I'll just start with that and what I was trying to say is I have realized recently that what I thought and what I was told 
um, was me being just a person that worries a lot actually had a real name and it's called anxiety and um, I know I'm 51 and I'm just learning these things and that's okay I wasn't raised to talk about these types of things it's just not something we would talk about and maybe we didn't know a whole lot about it back then I don't know all I know is when I over prepare for something and I mean over prepare I will think of every single detail of what could happen and then try and re- and prepare for it as a safety net it could be a simple walk in the mountain on a trail where it's impossible to get lost and I can assure you my backpack has everything I need to survive a night in the woods until they find me <laughs> and that is how my anxiety translates Now, I am lucky enough that the anxiety I have does not cripple me from living my day-to-day life. However, I know a lot of people who do need help um, and medication to get through their um, daily lives. And you know what? That is very okay. Because if you think about it, if you have a health condition, a physical health condition, like let's say a heart condition, You won't hesitate to take the heart pills, will you? Of course not. It's the same thing with your mental health. So if that's what helps you to get through the day, then just go right ahead. You know, if it's meditation and exercise and breathing exercises, go ahead. So all that to say that um, because I was trying to get my viewers to get to know me a tiny bit, and I was explaining that doing a chit chat while I was crafting did raise anxiety levels in me. Um, I think I might be wrong, but I think there's different levels of anxiety. And I think for now, at least mine is manageable because I've come up with ways to cope with it without even knowing. (laughs) And um, well, you know what, I am going to just plow through and keep chit chatting the whole video and we'll see what it does in the end. (laughs) So to come back to the whole creative process, I I hope I haven't lost too many of you with my chit chatting. I just wanna be myself. I just want you to get to know me. Um, I'm a very happy person by nature, but I, and you know, one does not exclude the other, all right? You can be a very happy person and still have anxiety um but to explain more about this creative process right now um if if something that gets me really overwhelmed and blocks me like i don't know how to get out of it and start creating is when i don't limit myself (laughs) it's gonna sound strange because this is supposed to be freeing but if i get too many things out like too many papers and beautiful things, then I can tell you 100%, I will not know what direction to take. So I do suggest, I don't know if you, well, if you're an avid crafter, you probably, well, I don't know, I don't want to assume, but she's very popular and she's the reason I started all of this. It's Marta from Maremi Small Art. I have mentioned her many 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 times in my videos if she hears this although i i'm thinking she might be too busy but if she ever hears this i hope she can forgive me all the mentions i hope it doesn't bother her um but i truly admire her and she has these um five supplies how does she call them i think it's five supplies craft or something anyways what it is is that she really limits herself to five supplies so she doesn't count the glue obviously because that would be like very limiting but she'll grab papers let's say paints um, gesso and whatnot or markers or watercolors she'll limit herself it doesn't mean along the way she won't add a little something or you can't add a little something absolutely you can there's no rules it's your rules however it is good practice i find sorry about that to limit yourself because when you have too many beautiful things 
first of all, let's be honest, you can't put 25 beautiful things on one page. It will be way too busy. You'll lose all focus points. It's it's not, I mean, if you want to, just go ahead. Again, there's no rules. If you make it look good and you're happy with it, go right ahead. But if we're being truthful, most of the time, it won't necessarily be successful because it's too busy. So in that sense, I think her advice to limit yourself and try and create with limited supplies is a very good idea. And you'd be surprised what you can actually do with less and um so that's that's a little bit uh like a, a page out of a book of her book if you will um that i'm taking right now by limiting myself i had gotten a lot of things out at the beginning and i put a lot of things back because i could feel myself already drifting away from what was the idea that i wanted to do i was already all over the place or to not say all over the page <laughs> and so yeah it's a good idea it's really good advice and so that's why right now really all I have is papers glue and right now there's not much else so I'm adding this up I think I want to put him this butterfly here I'm not sure, like maybe once I put white gesso it'll pop, but I'm not certain because I do find him a bit small. Um, and I'm thinking that this paper right here would be better. And I have gazillion butterflies everywhere. I have all kinds of papers and now I'm not sure what I want to put here. So I'm just going to go check something. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and I think I know where I'm going. <laughs> I think. There's no promise. I think I'm going to add some pink. So, I have these Transfer Me. Um, that's, I think that's really what they're called. Of course, I hid the name. Yes, I think it's called Dress by Dress My Craft. It's called Transfer Me. And so, I have these pink flowers that I think would look great somewhere in here and I have in this sticker book I found these pink flowers so I'm thinking my oops sorry for the camera this big flower should be in the middle and then I'll use these two and these two things here and see where it goes now anyone that's watched me craft before might have noticed I am not a pink kind of person I don't use pink very often Actually, I don't even remember if I ever used it in any of my crafts. Sorry, the table's moving. I'm trying to make space for the book. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. I was just attracted by this big flower I just showed you. And so I think I'm going to add this here. Because it's too... I don't like this part. So I'm trying to cover it, but not... I don't know let me see is this better I mean there will be all kinds of gesso and stuff so okay I'm just gonna do it there we go now I want a sip of my hot cocoa which I'm pretty sure is cold now mm -hmm. let's just say it's not that hot <laughs> Okay, um, now I need a plate with water to put these on, so I'm going to go get that right now. Okay, so I have my plate with water. Um, I want to show you, but I don't want to put water all over my page because it's not protected yet. It doesn't have any gesso. So what you do is, first you take the plastic. Actually, I'm going to use this one first, and then I'll move my plate around or... Okay, and you put the kind of sticky part in the water. Now, can I do watercolors and I had no clean water around me. And I have a few jars. Yes, that's right. <laughs> when I finish this today, I will go upstairs and get clean water for the next time I need it. Okay, so I need to, oops, 
Okay, I need to put this. I should have cut it closer, but I think the flowers are right here. Now I'm going to wet this paper so I can rub the back. I hope you can still see. I can't really zoom in because if I do, you're going to see this part of the page. Now I really am regretting not doing the gesso part because now I can see I wetted the page. Oh, goodness. You know what? I think I'm going to gesso after before I do the other oh the other one is on a book page shouldn't cause too much trouble anyways so you keep wetting until the top layer starts to move and you can kind of slide it off oh not there yet oh there you go I'm sorry for the poor view as I'm saying I'm trying not to um, damage the paper which was not protected underneath at all. Let me dry this. I'm gonna use my dryer just now, just because of the paper. I'll be right back. Okay, so I will zoom and then I'll try and replace my camera. So I'm gonna zoom right now. I'm gonna move this up and, whoops, I'm almost there. I hope you can see it. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. See how beautiful and you can still see through. It's just I have a lot of stickers that are see-through like these ones right here. Let me show you. See, you put them on the page and you can see through. It's beautiful. Um, so it's kind of the same except it's very thin and of course it will move with the page. It won't bend you know like a sticker so now I have to move my camera the way it was because I have limited space because I don't have my camera is not very high if you will above my desk so it's easy to lose some of the parts of the book of the journal okay I'm gonna do the other one which is right here maybe this one I can focus in if I fold the page like so let me see Oops. Oh, okay. Let me move this. Okay. This should be this should be good. So, once again, I will remove the uh, the film. Oops. Okay. I don't have enough water, so I'm going to use my spray bottle to put some water because somebody was too lazy to clean her water jars for watercolor. <laughs> Not going to say who. Okay, I'm gonna, you're losing this part, but it's just, I'm just putting the sticker in until I see that the back, the white is also wet. So I'm gonna move this around, make sure it's all nice and wet. There we go. I'm gonna use this to, for the excess water. Okay. And, oops, upside, yeah. I'm gonna put this right here. And I'm going to use the paper I had earlier and dab, dab, dab until it's wet and the top layer moves away from the bottom. Try not to wet it too much because, like I said, underneath the photocopy is not protected by gesso. Which will be my next move anyways, before I put the flower stickers. Okay. Should be close to moving now. There we go. And then you slide it off. Oh. Or pull it, depends. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. It's all good. Just gonna make sure there's no water. Perfect. Make sure no water. Dab, dab. Here we go. So let me get rid of the water here before I do a mess on my desk. There we go. So that's the effect of the transfer me. They're very beautiful. Um, but let me zoom out. But if you don't have them, um, stickers. An image from a magazine 
Um, I didn't say it in this video, but please use what you have. You are never, ever in the obligation to feel, um, no, to feel obligated. I'm speaking backwards. You know what I mean? To feel obligated, like you have to have everything. I don't have everything, believe me. I just, I, I mean, I have a lot. I'm very fortunate, but I really don't have everything. There's a lot of things I don't have. So I'm just going to dry this off so I can apply my gesso and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have some gesso and I will do some contouring with the gesso. Okay, I'm not sure if this will lift, but I don't know that I can reach it with the glue. Maybe with this, hold on. I just don't want it to, uh, it probably would have been okay, but I'd rather just make sure. Anyways, so yes, what was I going to say? Yeah, I want to eliminate some of the harsh contours. And I want to set the tone for the middle of the page where my flower will sit. And so I will use my finger because, I don't know, I, I always do. I use, don't, I do have own brushes. I, I do paint, <laughs> so I can assure you I have brushes. But for this, for some reason, I don't know, I feel I have more control over the amount that I put. It is big and there's little sharp edges. I don't want to rip it. Okay, I got it. Now, a lot of people have commented about this. Uh, it's called the Botanist's Sticker Anthology and said that these stickers don't stay stuck, like they don't stick well. I will admit that it is the truth. So I will <clears throat> put some glue, but you know, I really don't mind putting glue even though if you know technically they're stickers you shouldn't have to but I don't mind I put glue on everything so what's what's a sticker you know it doesn't matter it doesn't bother me at all so now of course this beautiful image will be folded when I fold my journal so I'm trying to make the crease so that when it does fold, it doesn't break or anything, right? So it is a book. It will be folded. But I don't think it matters that much. And it does not bother me. It does not bother me. Bother? 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 I don't mind it. <laughs> That's what I do when I... This, the word sounded strange all of a sudden doesn't bother me I speak English every day 
I know it doesn't seem like it all the time, but I can assure you, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put the other ones. I am looking for balance. Maybe I should just put it next, close to, but I don't want to, I have a small one, a medium one. I'm trying to find, or I could gather them all. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. Do you think? What if I put it like, or do I disperse them? No, I think I'll put them together. I don't know, maybe you're at home saying, oh no, you shouldn't have. Well, it's done. <laughs> oh, I did forget to put some glue. See, I could change my mind <laughs> and take it off. Oh my goodness, it does not stick. That is true. I still love them. The images are beautiful and I don't play with it a lot. Like I said, we have a lot of things in our studios, our crafting table, or kitchen table, no matter where you are crafting, and we tend to forget. I know I do. So while I was trying to find papers and limit myself on what I was going to use today, I stumbled upon a few little treasures I had forgotten about. So. I might have to revisit my stash later and you know we keep purchasing stuff I, I know I do and it doesn't mean pricey it could be just digital papers which are not pricey but <clears throat> let me tell you the ink is pricey oh my goodness okay um, but yeah I keep finding myself like I see a new digital paper and it's like oh my goodness it's so beautiful I must have it and uh, I forget what I have and I am so disorganized in my computer oh my goodness it's a big old mishmash of everything I'm a little ashamed to admit it but zero organization for my documents I'm trying to see I don't know why all of a sudden I feel like it could use a tiny bit more of the dark I'm not sure I have this paper which is almost the same type as the actually I'm thinking maybe it is but no it mine is a little thicker than this but I'm trying to see if it needs a tiny bit of more something let me see let's see I get this feeling I need something I'm not sure what I know I will do contouring but it doesn't seem like it would be enough hmm Let's pretend it's glued. Maybe in another direction? I don't know. What am I looking for? What is it that I am not quite happy with? Hmm. I don't know. Isn't that strange? I'm usually not that indecisive about these let me see maybe some writing like so that's not bad let me see what else that's some writing right here I think maybe that's what's missing maybe I'm looking for some writing mm, that's writing there too I also have stamps with words like handwriting. I have washies, which also have writing. I'm feeling like this would be nicer. Now, of course, there's no gesso on that. I really don't want to restart the, the gesso process. 
but you know I will glue those down because I feel like it needs it so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it I'll worry about the contouring after I just felt like it needed more handwriting or something I don't know Maybe not this one. Maybe something bolder. Oh, it has the same word though. I don't want the same word to appear. See, I'm going to cut this so we don't see the word. Just the top part. Okay. Like so. Okay, and this here. Yep. Mm. Okay, now am I happy with this? I have to cut this off. Where's my scissors? Okay. Okay, I think this is better. I had this strange feeling that it was just, I don't know, just too much white. I don't know. But now I like it better. I really, really do. So now my question to myself is, am I going to do the contouring in black? Am I going to use some stamps as well? And as I'm saying it, I'm seeing this. I love using this. Just to put some pieces here and there, I think is really nice and simple. And it adds interest, I find, as well. So, oops, this would have been better if it wasn't perfect like that maybe it's too long let me see just the tiny pieces here and there just just to add I don't know what do you think maybe some here as well I do want to put oh my goodness see I have so many things I want to add like I cut out these circles uh, oops you don't see them <laughs> sorry I did cut out these circles, I punched them out, I'm not sure I can add them now, I think it might get too busy. I really at first wanted to put the butterfly circles or the flower, but I'm uncertain now that it would fit. There are these ones that don't have colors, but I don't think it's about the color. I don't know I'll see maybe I'll leave that for the end I do have those beautiful words uh, or short sentences I know I want to put something there but that will be in the end I will choose that later so I'm gonna keep going before I get distracted again with all the beautiful shiny things <laughs> and I will keep adding some this is oops this is just masking tape nothing else I could use washies but I think it's too much with all the the stuff already going on okay so let me try and make sure that oh my goodness I have so much trouble come on I just had you okay there I'm trying to figure out where I want to add it hmm Maybe just some here. Oops, at the bottom. Right there. How about... How about the top corner? Right 
here. Oops, a little too long again. That's okay. And some, I think I want some one, some like somewhere here. Oh my goodness, it's tripped again. Okay. Hmm. Maybe like so? Why not? Okay. So, so far it's papers, gesso, stickers, and this. So, you know, it doesn't always take a lot. And in my other art journaling page, I usually don't have a whole lot because, like I said before, there's only so much you can put. You're going to run out of space anyways, right? So, or it's going to get too busy, in my opinion. So, you don't always need a lot. Actually, most of the time, you don't need a lot. I'm going to put one right there. Okay, I'm trying to see where else, or if that's enough, or... Um, and I don't want to cover the flowers, see, that's the thing. Maybe right here. I'm trying to see if you can see on the camera. It really is a nice effect, I find. I kind of like it, really. Okay, so I think that's it for that. Um, I am tempted to do so much more, but I'm really trying to keep it simple and elegant. So now I think I'm going to make sure that these are glued properly. And I think I'm going to start contouring and then we'll add the finishing touches. Okay, so I did go and get my Stabilo, which is pretty much the same as watercolor, at least for this. And But I just also passed by my black thread. And I love to add texture and interest. And I think I'm just going to apply some glue and just let the thread fall where, you know, I think would look nice. So why don't we do that i love it <clears throat> that's such an easy thing to do and i can assure you it adds so much interest i've done it on a few um things like i don't know in journal pages or uh, like junk journaling and tags on top of cheesecloth on a tag or on a greeting card I just love it I really do think it adds a lot of interest and texture even it's not you know a lot you can't just like but you know what I mean it's it's still 3d out of the page it's still um, thread I always want to say wire it's not wire at all it's a thread <laughs> Oh goodness, there's words that just won't stick. There. I don't know if you can see that. You know what, actually? I think that this thread plays a little bit uh, the same role as... And I've done it before as well. And I don't know if you've seen other crafter do it. I have. I think it's magnificent. They just take a black uh, marker and just um how do you say that i don't want to say wiggle it around but they they uh doodle yes doodle they just doodle wherever they there's like barely any control over the pen and it is beautiful i love the effects i really really do and well right now with the thread if you feel unsure i'm not super great with doodles i don't think so anyways um but for me the thread almost acts as a doodle 
I'm just gonna use this to there we go I love that this glue just dries clear but you can actually see because it's blue so you see where you put it so oh yes I love this oh I hope the camera renders the image the way I see it I really really love it it really acts as a doodle I wonder if I could put some I mean it's nice that I put it in the opposite corners like that but I'm wondering if I can have some loosely oh look is it just me or isn't that I like it you know what I'm doing it I like it I think it acts like a doodle and maybe I'm off my rockers and you're all saying no what are you doing well this I'm doing this <laughs> there's your answer what are you doing this I'm doing this right now and see that's the beauty and that's what I was trying to say I think at the beginning of my video um, I just need it to be free and right now Although I do have bouts of anxiety about, you know, being boring and chit-chatting the whole way, the whole time I'm crafting, which is not something I'm very good at. I can assure you I'm still living in the moment right now because I just seen this thread as I was grabbing my stabulo and a paintbrush to do the contouring. And I just saw the, um, I think it's a bobbin or anyway, the thread. And I thought... Hmm. I like to put threads on my crafts and yeah I am loving this it's just like it acts the same as a doodle uh, I really hope the camera I'm gonna like put you know for the thumbnail for the video I'm gonna make sure that we can see this because I really love it okay let me see I don't know what part of the world you are from I know I have a lot of people from the United States I'm up here in Canada and hello beautiful people from the States I hope you're all doing well and I have people in Europe and Australia and the UK um, but depending on where you are I don't know if you are feeling that the cold is coming and I don't know if you're like me but I find that when the it first starts to get cold outside you can smell it it smells like winter am I the only one that I don't I can't be the only one there must be other people that smells that it smells like winter there's a specific smell it's almost like when snow is coming I can smell it <laughs> maybe I'm strange but I I'm I I cannot be the only one I'm sure there are other people that can smell it it smells like winter you open the, the door one morning and you say wow okay it smells like winter and I feel um, we had incredible weather the last few days for November oh my goodness the first week of November we're almost we're hitting like I kid you not I think we hit hit like 16 degrees Celsius that is so it's pretty warm uh, people walking around in t-shirts and everything of course in the morning you you know it's cold but then in the afternoon with the Sun it's 16 you sit on the I, I sit on my swing set in the Sun and it's like oh my goodness is this really November um, but lately the last few days is the first time I have smelled that winter smell I'm talking about it's like okay now we're done <laughs> with the nice weather we might have you know the Sun and some few nice days but the hot uh, temperatures we've been having I think are really over so yeah this is the fall we're entering the cold so and the cold here I must say in Nova Scotia oh my gosh uh, see I was in Quebec and in Quebec the cold is drier there's less water in the air if I can 
say it like that. And I feel that back home, or maybe, because I'm used to that, um, at minus 10, minus 15, you go skiing. Because if you have many layers, you're actually quite comfortable. Onion peels, we call them, right? But here, it's, it's, it's like zero or minus five Celsius, and I am freezing. Freezing. I'm not going out. I'm in my jammies and staying home. <laughs> it's just a different kind of cold is the only thing I can say. Now, I need water. Hold on. This is not too dirty. That's actually pretty clean for me. <laughs> I, I could actually do watercolor with this. No, I'm kidding. I would actually go get fresh water. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, there's a lot of water. We're right by the ocean, first of all. Like, it's... Um, I'm, I, I've been 15 years here, and uh, when I drive towards, like, if you can call it downtown, because it's a small town where I am, you see the ocean, like, very close. It, the ocean is always five minutes almost driving from here. Well, not almost. It is literally five minutes in every direction <laughs> where I am. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's always, it's still, that's what I was trying to say, after 15 years, um, I'm not sure what I'm doing here, um, it still amazes me that we're so close, I mean, of course here they've been raised with it, but from someone comes from Quebec where there's no ocean, you have the St. Lawrence River, which is, okay, I need a paper too, hold on, uh, which is a, um, uh, I mean, it's extremely large river. You have, you know, container boats and cargo ships, I mean, that go on it. Obviously, it's huge. It goes into the ocean eventually. Um, but you don't see it from everywhere. And we're inside the, the province. It's mountains. I'm used to the mountains. I'm used to the forest. And here, there's a lot of wind. It's always windy, almost. Like, the, the days where there's no wind, I actually notice. So, okay, so the tape here, I like it, but I don't like that I can't color over it. So, um, yeah, it's... I, I don't think I'll ever get used to the wind, ever. I go back home to visit and my mom will say, oh my goodness, it's so windy. And I'm I'm looking outside looking for the wind and I'm thinking, why are you saying windy? She says, look, look at the top of the trees, they're moving. Oh my God, really? <laughs> that for us is just regular. It's a normal <laughs> breeze. Yeah, so here I consider it windy, really, really windy when it's like sustained wind of, I'd say... 50 and up all day let's say then it's a windy day but anything under that it's I don't know correct me if I'm wrong maybe it's just me who's just so disliking the wind <laughs> for me it's windy all the time and I'm not used to it I'll never get used to it I find that wind is very noisy and I don't hear the birds I think that's what I miss in the forest, even when it's windy, the trees help, um, I don't know if it's a word, attenuate attenuate the sound, like make it less. Uh, I don't think attenuate is an English word. I'm trying to use a French word and put it in English. Sometimes it works. <laughs> Not all the time. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I don't think I'll ever be used to all this wind. It's just, yeah, I know people love the ocean here. And I, like I said, I'm still impressed to see how close I am to it. And I could just drive and have, a, you know, like people do that. They'll grab a, a cup of coffee, a drive through and they'll go sit in their car if it's cold and uh, just look at the ocean. Even when it's not cold, just chit chat, sit in the car, sipping a coffee, and watch the ocean. You know, I don't know why my paper is on this side when my water is on the opposite side. 
there so but yes i i'm not raised here so for me the wind is really i don't know it's very problematic <laughs> it annoys me and the ocean yes i'm still impressed that's what i was trying to say but i'm not an ocean person i i love the mountains i love the smell of the forest um i love the sun that peeks through the leaves but the smells and the sound when you walk in the forest when the branches crack under your step or pebbles move under your step and like i said the birds and yes the wind through the leaves um yeah i guess i i like that better but it is beautiful for sure i just prefer mountains and some people have never seen the ocean you know when you live inside a big territory and you had no reason let's say or no means to travel um, a lot of people have never seen the ocean I've, I'm fortunate I live right next to it in that way but you know some people have never been to the mountain either so you know I've, I'm lucky I've lived in both places and I've seen both okay so as I'm chatting about the mountains the ocean and the wind <laughs> I'm finishing up on the contouring, trying to see where I feel would need more or less, or is it too dark. I'm just not paying too much attention, as you can see, because I'm chit-chatting with you guys. And I'm trying to, s like, this is a little dark in some places, I'm trying to lighten up tiny bit I think this is enough darkness I don't want to overwhelm my the middle of my page let me see I really like the thread I'd like to have your opinion I love it now the glue is not super dry, so sometimes I go with my brush and I move it around, but it will it will settle. I'm just gonna add more black here. And yeah, I really do feel like the thread acts like doodles. And since I'm not great, a great doodler, because I overthink. I know you're supposed to just hold your pen, re or your pencil, re uh, no pen super loosely and just let it go and but I kind of did the same with the thread and I'm quite satisfied with the overall look okay so I'm gonna close this water before oh you know what there's a little spot that annoys me just because it's squarish because of the tape I feel it'll feel better if it's somewhat darkened there we go yeah, I think that's better. Is there anything else I want to add? I didn't add any here. Let me add some. I don't know if you can see. Let me move this. Just a tad. There. Oops, piece of paper. Okay. I think I like that just maybe want it darker over here like so and now even darker darker a tiny bit of water now I forget if I filmed it or if I jumped over it I did apply clear gesso everywhere because I knew I would not be able to do what I'm doing right now with the contouring. I would have been afraid to damage my whole page. So 
I did add clear gesso everywhere. And I even added it on the flower, not because it needed it, as you can see, I didn't really touch it. However, uh, I felt it was too shiny compared to the rest. So the clear gesso takes away um, the shine. So uh, I'm trying to see where, okay. So I think we should find, I'm, wait, before I let go, my goodness, this, this video is going to be an hour long. I just want to see if there's a possibility of adding a few circles. No, you know what? No, no. I know I wanted the circles, but there's no need. So let's not. Let's find something to put. I have this and I have these. Uh, oops, there's a sticker here. Small talk and big, big chats. So I love these sentiments, I think you call them. So let's see what we have. There's so many nice ones. Oh, you know what? I'm taking this. And you know why? Because at the beginning of the video, I said I needed to release stress and anxiety and be present. And this is a moment. This is a beautiful moment. And... Yes, I think that's exactly it. The only thing is, I wonder, do I put some some writing behind it? Like so, let me see. Or does it pop on its own? Let's just... It takes just a few seconds to try. If I color it and... Oh, I like it. Let me just hold on. <laughs> oh. Okay, you know what? I have to stop saying, oh my God, this is long. We are not on a timetable. You are more than welcome to jump ahead if this is too long. I want, I don't want to just rush it and end it and not be satisfied. It's Friday night here for me at this moment. I don't know when I'm going to release the video, probably on a Monday, <laughs> but I mean, as I'm creating, it is Friday. I have no reason to rush. Now I'm going to do one more thing to make this paper less white because I don't want it to um, destroy or not destroy, but sorry for the noise. I'm grabbing a, a little piece of paper take away too too much from the background so this is a photo vintage photo I'm just using this and I'm just coloring so it's not as bright because I want it to be there I don't want it to be the focal point there okay I think that's enough perfect so what if I put it here like so I mean, there is some journal writing over there, so I think it would fit now. Maybe it's too big. I don't know. Or, oh, wait now, I have another idea just to make it match. Oh my goodness. Hold on, it won't be long. I just, I'm just thinking right now, just because, just for balance. It's all about having some kind of balance. So I just gotta grab my sheet again. It doesn't mean I'll do it. I might leave it just as such, but I just wanna, just to try. Make it a little less bright. Cause I, we did have um, an old book underneath like the flowers in the corner, but with everything we added, it is subtle and I like that it is subtle. I'm just saying we, we really don't see much. Well, I guess that's what it means to be subtle. <laughs> okay. Oops. Okay. Not everything is dry. Okay. So, and then I'm going to do 
the same I did on the other one with my espresso because it's dark and it matches all the darkness and like I said I don't want it to necessarily pop out I just want to balance with this I think this will be it I don't know if you're like me but I get so excited when I have an idea and everything comes together <laughs> and that's how I'm feeling right now okay my goodness I talked about everything through this video I just hope I'm not oversharing. Uh, okay, so I would leave this here and I would probably add a piece maybe right here. And I don't know, what do you think? Maybe I think this looked actually really good in this way. No, hold on. How about like so and like this yes I love it it's getting glued right there and then I'll show you I I wish my I could have my screen a little further the the phone that I'm filming with my phone um, but the stand that I I don't want to touch the flower though the stand that I have has a light and it's a clip-on and I clip it on my table that's why I hit it so often I used to have a camera hanging from the ceiling but it was an old camcorder those are my first few videos six months ago when I started in May and uh, I changed my phone and then I found this clip-on which is perfect but it is low Although it does allow me to look at my screen and see what you see. If it was any higher, I would always have to get up to see what you're seeing. Although once the camera set, I guess it would be okay. But this allows me, though, being close to, have to zoom in and out. I do have a tripod with a remote. The only thing is it doesn't clamp on anything. And with all the movement on my table, I fear it would probably fall off. So, oh my gosh, you know what? <laughs> Maybe I'm tooting my own horn, but you know what? Toot toot. I am in love with this. I'm so happy. Oh, I do hope you understand what I meant at the beginning and why this is so important to do for yourself and just create and be free because right now I didn't know where I was going with this and I'm pretty sure you knew that I didn't know and this video took a lot longer than I had expected but it's worth it uh, for me it is and I hope it was for you I am extremely happy I am looking at this page I had no idea where I was going I just knew I needed to craft and create and oh I hope the camera shows the beauty I'm gonna move it so that you can see without all this light I am loving it and these last piece of uh, book the p book pages that we that I just tore up I love it oh my goodness i really hope you've enjoyed it i hope i didn't make you too dizzy with the chit chat <laughs> maybe with time i'll get used to chit chatting and creating i do get distracted easily i don't have a very um, good attention span i am first to admit that oh my goodness i hope i'm not moving too fast oh i love it so much i'm so happy i did this trying to move the camera so you can see it and I don't want the glare of the flower I did put like I said some clear gesso so it's not as shiny as you know if you can see the difference from the beginning I really really love this I really hope you enjoyed it I might try and fast forward over pieces that I feel can be fast forward over um, but other than that, you will probably hear the whole chit chat. I hope you've enjoyed the creative process. 
I hope you feel as relaxed as I feel right now, having watched and listened and hopefully maybe even got inspired to create your own page. But do do create for yourself. Don't always overthink and do things to sell or to expose somewhere or whatever it is that you do your crafts for. Do a few pages just for yourself. It, did, it didn't take a whole lot. Stickers, papers, gesso, clear and white, thread, and it could be watercolor or stabulo. Like seriously, it didn't take much. I really hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for being with me. And thank you all to my subscribers. And welcome to anyone who is new to my channel. Thank you for all your uplifting comments every time. You bring me so much joy. And uh, I hope I see you soon. And I'm going to say thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>